welcome dear students to the online class on differential equations so in this particular chapter see this particular chapter is a part of calculus first and foremost okay and in this particular chapter what are the things that we need from calculus okay so let's talk about that so first and foremost for the first few exercises you need to know about differentiation okay and uh, I assume that uh, you are quite comfortable with differentiation now after we do the first few exercises the later exercises where we need to solve uh, differential equations there we will make use of the concept of integration okay so basically this part you know uh, this chapter is the last chapter from calculus so that's why you must know these two concepts thoroughly okay now what is differential equation let's understand that okay so first and foremost there is an equation word equation so equation means there has to be equal to sign okay now what do you mean by differential so differential comes from the word differentiation okay so basically an equation involving derivatives of the dependent variable with respect to independent variable or variables is known as differential equation okay so what does this mean let's try to understand so there is an equation let's say okay so in that equation we have the derivative okay so we have the derivative so for example we say dy by dx so basically if you see this particular equation so dy by dx plus x equals to y let's say this so this is an equation where you see equal to sign there's the derivative also so such kind of equation is known as the differential equation that's the meaning of first definition all right now after learning or after understanding about what is differential equation the next thing that you need to know is order of a differential equation de stands for differential equation so what do you mean by order of a differential equation now all of you have learned about first order derivative right so first order derivative you have learned so you know if y equals to fx is given to you okay its first order derivative is nothing but dy by dx okay which is written as f dash of x also so remember since this is your first order you can write dy by dx in short form as y1 also or you can write this as y dash also okay now second is the other thing that you have learned is this is the first thing that you have learned the second thing is second order derivative okay so what is second order derivative let's understand now if you differentiate this again that is if you find derivative d by dx of dy by dx okay so this is called second order derivative and it is written as d square y by dx square or sometimes it is written as since this second order derivative you can write this as y2 or you can write this as y dash okay and this will be equals to f double dash of x okay so this is how we represent second order derivative similarly if i ask you how to represent third order derivative okay so if i ask you you say it will be dq y by dx cube okay or you can write this as y cube y y3 or y triple dash okay so these are different notations for third order derivative now we are talking about order of a differential equation isn't it so let's assume that there is an there is a differential equation given to you okay now in that differential equation if the order of the highest order derivative is known okay for example okay so first let's uh, let me read directly the definition so order of a differential equation is the order of the highest order derivative occurring in the differential equation what does this mean let's understand so for that let me take directly a problem okay so I'm just going to talk about the degree okay now in this differential equation in this differential equation 
what is the highest of highest order derivative you can see highest order derivative that you see here is one because this is dy by dx this is y1 so this is my first order derivative so that's why its order will be one here okay order is one similarly here you see it is dy by dx first order derivative this is also dy by dx this is also first order derivative so it will be one okay similarly this is y dash so this is one here this is d square y by dx square second order derivative so that's why the order will be two similarly if i ask you see you have you can see if you arrange this you will get dy by dx so bring this out there d get this dx to the denominator so again you get dy by dx again this is first order derivative similarly this is also going to be first order derivative this is going to be you see second order derivative right here don't look at the power so it is dy by dx first order d square y by dx square so this is also second order okay similarly you can verify the others as well okay now just look at this you might you see there is four written so that's why if there is four written out here this will be fourth order okay so what is the order of this differential equation this is fourth order okay similarly you have got some more questions okay so you can check for example here it is dy by dx order is one here so we do we have any other here so yes here we have y triple dash order is three okay here also order is three so similarly you can check others as well okay so we have understood what do you mean by the order of a differential equation so order of differential equation is nothing but the highest order derivative that occurs in the particular differential equation right okay so what is degree of a differential equation let's understand that now first and foremost you look for in the given differential equation you look for the highest order derivative and what is the power of highest order derivative that power is known as the degree of the differential equation okay so let's see the examples out here okay so here highest order derivative is dy by dx now what is the power of this here power is one so that's why its degree will be one order dy by dx is first order first order and the power of this highest order derivative is one here so that's why its degree will be one similarly here you see highest order is y dash first order and its power out here is one so that's why its degree will be one here dy by dx here also we have got dy by dx but here power is two and here power is one so which one is highest highest is two so that's why its degree will be two here right similarly it's uh, see here it is second order but its power is one so that's why its degree is going to be one okay simple similarly you can verify others is it it for example here okay, okay let me take this one so you see highest order is d square x by dt square and its power is four so that's why its order will be four in this case i'm sorry its degree will be four its order is two and its degree is four okay so this is how we need to check the order and degree of a differential equation okay now let's see the other thing that is finding the differential equation okay so how to find differential equation that's what we are going to learn now okay so suppose let's say there's a, a, a normal equation given to you and from there you have to form a differential equation so let's say uh, y equals to ax okay so just uh, take this y equals to ax now here how many constant do you see we have only one constant so always you need to look for number of constant constant when you form when you form the differential equation because from the given equation you can form many number of differential equation you can form first order derivative uh, differential equation second order differential equation isn't it so if you want to form first order differential equation second order differential equation or anything 
it depends on the number of constant you know suppose in this case we have y equals to ax a is the constant we have got only one one constant so if there is one constant then you will be able you will form only first order differential equation okay for example we have y equals to mx plus c so this is another one okay so you see there are how many constants we have got two constants so that's why the order of the differential equation that you are going to form from this will be second order differential equation that means if there are three constants then you will form third order differential equation okay so these are the things that you need to keep in mind while solving the differential or while finding the differential equations haven't haven't understood let's take few problems uh, so that you'll be clear with the concept of finding the differential equation so we have find the differential equation in each of the following cases having so first this is given to us now you see a is a constant b is a constant so how many constants are there so we have got two constants so that's why you need to differentiate this twice okay so what am i going to do is i'll call this to be equation number one okay so differentiating one with respect to so the variable out here is x so when you differentiate this so y becomes dy by dx so dy by dx can i write this as y1 okay so you can write this as y1 so a is a constant so differentiate cos x it will be minus sin x so that's why it becomes minus a sin x plus so b is a constant so differentiate sin x you get cos x so you basically you get b cos x so call this as equation number two remember if there are two constants you have to differentiate twice and at last you have to get rid of the constants so basically in your final differential equation you should not have the constants present okay you have to eliminate the constants remember you need to eliminate the constants so differentiating two why am i differentiating two again because there are two constants so i should get second order derivative okay so differentiating two with respect to x so let's see how much do we get so differentiation of y1 will be y2 is equals to minus a now in differentiation of sin x will be cos x minus b okay differentiation of cos x will be minus sin x so that's why instead of plus i have written minus so it becomes minus sin x okay now if i take minus common see i told you see this is my second order derivative i got it but i need to get rid of a and b there should not be a and b present so for that what am i going to do is i'll take out minus common so in that case you get uh, you know we get a cos x plus b sin x now look at this and look at this aren't the same yes right so in place of this what will i do i write y from equation number one okay so bring it out here so the required differential equation becomes y2 plus this comes here becomes plus y equals to zero is the required differential equation so this is how we need to find okay so this was a simple problem later on you'll find some more difficult problems where you have to use very tricks to remove the constants okay so for now you may pause the video and note down this particular solution we have yet another question so let me quickly differentiate so differentiating call this as equation number one also differentiating one with respect to x so we have y1 y becomes y1 equals to a now e to the power mx or e to the power 2x so what is the difference here? remember in differentiation of e to the power mx is m e to the power mx okay so remember this formula so we have differentiation of e to the power 2x becomes 2 into e to the power 2x plus we have b b so here 
m is minus 2 so that's why it becomes minus 2 e to the power minus 2x okay so let me rearrange this so from here you get y1 equals to 2 a e to the power 2x minus 2b e to the power minus 2x okay call this as equation number 2 so differentiating to so differentiating to with respect to x so you get y2 here so this becomes so we have 2 a into now e to the power 2x becomes 2 into e to the power 2x minus we have 2b so e to the power minus 2x becomes minus 2 e to the power minus 2x okay right so see here carefully here you get 2 into 2 is 4a e to the power 2x okay this is minus into minus becomes plus 4 e to the power i'm sorry b is also there right so b is there e to the power minus 2x e to the power minus 2x do you see anything common out here i see 4 is common so take out 4 common so you get a e to the power 2x plus 4 i'm sorry 4 is gone so it is b e to the power minus 2x now look at this this and from equation number one you see this is nothing but y okay so this is how much this is going to be y2 equals to okay so we have four i told you this is y using one okay so this is using one so this is the required differential equation all right so again we had two constants and we removed both the constants and you see both of them a and b are absent in this last equation okay so this is the required differential equation so you may pause the video and note down your solution let's move to next question so here also we have got two so that is a and b okay so let's see how to do this so call this as equation number one first and foremost so differentiate this okay so you get y1 equals to okay so y1 equals to ax so differentiation of see a is a constant keep it outside differentiate x it becomes one okay so a into one plus now b is a constant now differentiate one by x okay so differentiation of one by x will be minus one by x squared all of you must know this okay so from here you get y1 equals to a minus b by x square and call this to be equation number two right now differentiate again so by the way you need to write differentiating okay so similarly you'll write differentiating two with respect to x so you get y2 here y2 equals two so this becomes zero right differentiation of a is zero minus b is there so differentiation of one by x square is going to be minus two by x cube minus 2 by x cube so from here you have y2 equals 2 minus into minus plus so it is 2b by x cube isn't it so when i differentiate this see here carefully when i uh, differentiate 2 i see that the second order derivative that's y2 contains only one constant b so basically i need to get rid of this constant b so how do i need to get rid of b so for that i'll use equation one and two so for now i'll call this to be equation number three now how to get rid of you know uh to uh, this b so for that what am i going to do is i'll find the value of b using one and two so for that what will i do is see we have ax here we have only a so i'll multiply equation two by x okay so let's see how much do we get okay so multiplying multiplying 2 by x so let's see how much do we get so x into y1 that's what we get x into y1 equals to this becomes ax minus this becomes b by x square into x is just b by x isn't it okay 
so call this as equation number four now okay so this is my equation number four now just look at this carefully okay so what am i going to do is i'll subtract equation four from one okay so subtracting four from one let's see so first let's write equation number one so it is y minus it is x minus y1 so i've subtracted 4 from 1 in the left hand side similarly let's do the same in the right hand side so first let's write the first one equation number one that is ax plus b by x minus so 4 so when you subtract this sign you will get reversed okay so it becomes minus ax plus b by x okay so you see this and this gets cancelled so from here you get y minus x y1 is b by x plus b by x is 2b by x isn't it okay now so from 3 now so from equation number 3 so you have y2 equals 2 so can i write this as 1 by x square into 2b by x can i do this now why am i doing this because i have 2b by x here okay so call this as 5 if you want to okay so from here bring this x square out here so you get x square y2 okay and 2b by x is left and what is 2b by x 2b by x is y minus x y1 right so this is using 5 okay so bring this uh, out here so bring everything if possible so this gives you x square y2 so you get plus x y1 minus y equals to 0 so this is the required differential equation I hope this was uh, easy or understandable for you so you may pause the video and note down your solution okay so in the class uh, next class will be continuing with the same that is how to find the differential equation for a given equation right so we'll continue with the same in the next class thank you very much